Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another favorites video. I know it's been some time now since I have done one. I think it's been like two or three months, but I've been trying out a few new products and I didn't want to tell you if I like them until I really knew for sure that I did. So, um, as you can tell, I am in my new apartment. I will be doing an apartment tour and a room tour. If you guys would like that, please give it a thumbs up. I will be doing that once everything is kind of finished. Right now, I'm still decorating. I'm not quite done yet. When it is all done, I will be filming that video. Also, I am still kind of figuring out where I want to film. I don't have that many um, windows, but right now I'm sitting in front of one of them. And I know for sure you can see the glare in my glasses. So please ignore that and... Let's just get into the video. My first favorite is a new foundation that I have been loving. It is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I know a lot of you have probably heard about this already. I was kind of iffy about it just because I didn't know how it would work with my oily skin. And I get oily a little bit, but just like on my forehead and my nose, not a lot. So I think it's working pretty well with my skin right now. I will be doing a review on this pretty soon, but let me just give you a little bit of information on it. It is infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. So that's pretty good, and it's oil-free. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. It has a pump, which I love. What I have found with it is it's not as much full coverage as I would like, but it does like blur away all the imperfections in your face, and it doesn't sink into your fine lines or anything like that. Like It is such a beautiful foundation. I've gotten so many compliments while I'm wearing it. It looks very natural and very beautiful, so I really have been loving this. It definitely makes you look like you were born this way. <laughs> For the days that I want a little bit more coverage, I do add in a little bit of my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. These two together make the perfect combination for me, so this is what I have been using mostly every single day on my face. My next favorite is baking, and if you don't know what baking is, it is using translucent powder as a form of um, highlighting, I guess. Once I put concealer on my under eyes, I get this translucent powder and I just pack it on underneath my under eyes where I applied the concealer and I let that bake for, I don't know, about two, three minutes. I do my eyebrows, I do my eyeshadow, I do anything else while that's baking and then with the brush, I just like sweep it away and it leaves it beautiful. It keeps the concealer from creasing as well as brightening up your under eyes. So I have been really loving that and for that I have been using the your Mineral Sweden Translucent Powder. I got this in a BoxyCharm and it's completely done. I've used this every single day and it's done, like there's nothing in here. So. I have two blush favorites this month. I'm not sure if I have mentioned this in a favorites video before, but this is the Park Ave Princess from Tarte Cosmetics. And it is just a palette that has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. And I have literally been using this every single day. I don't want to blind you guys. How do I do this? So, I, as you can tell, I've hit pan on both those shades. I absolutely love this um, bronzer. It looks very natural and very nice for contouring. And that blush is just a perfect pink color. And the highlight's pretty good. I don't really use that that much. For this and for the next blush shade that I will be showing you, I have been using this brush. This is the Vasanti Blush 7 brush. And it is so fluffy and so perfect for blush. It kind of just like fits perfectly right here on on your cheekbones so I've really been loving this I think I also got this in a boxy charm I'm not really sure but I think so my next blush is Milani's baked blush in luminoso I'm sure a lot of you have seen it <laughs> Chloe just ran by it's kind of like a peachy orange shade with a little bit of gold in it I see gold I'm not sure but it's just a really pretty natural shade and I've been really using this a lot especially now that I'm back to school I've kind of been going for a more natural look and this has really been doing it for me so yeah if you are looking for a new blush Milani baked blushes are incredible my next beauty favorite is of course the Kat Von D shade and light palette I know I have been talking about this a lot now. I did a video on it. I will have that link down below. And I think I even talked about this in a favorites video before. But I'm not even kidding you. Ever since I bought this, I have used it every single day on my eyes. Um, this is what it looks like for those of you who haven't seen it. Three base shades, contour, definition, and highlight shades. This palette is just perfect and of course it's all matte. So this palette was literally made for me. Like I said, I've been using it every single day since I bought it. So I'm so glad that I did get this. 
My last favorite is an eyeliner, and this is the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner. I have been loving doing um, winged eyeliner lately, and this is just perfect for it. It has a felt tip applicator, and it just does the best lines. It's already running out because of how much I've used it, but it does the best lines for winged eyeliners, and I have absolutely been loving this. So if you are looking for an eyeliner that stays all day, like I'm not kidding, this will not budge during the day. If you're in the market for a new eyeliner, I would definitely recommend the Stila Stay All Day. So now for fashion favorites, I have three here. One of them is another handbag. I've actually had this bag for about three years, but I recently started using it this summer. This is the Coach Legacy Rami. If you follow me on my blog, you would have seen this in a few of my outfit of the day videos, but it is just a beautiful hot pink corally color with white tassels and a white tag and silver hardware, and I love this bag. It's just one compartment, so it's super easy to find everything in. And I don't know, I just found that it matched with a lot of my outfits, so I I have been using this a lot. Now, I know that in my last favorites video, whatever month that was, I think it was March? No. I think it was like May or June, I did a favorites video and I said that I have been loving um, platform shoes and I still am, so I have a new pair here that I wanted to share with you all. They are jelly platforms that I got from Aldo and I have been loving them. Match with a lot of things and they're very comfortable to walk in. My next fashion favorite is another pair of shoes and these are sneakers that I got from Vince Camuto. They are cool snakeskin and they're so incredibly comfortable. They kind of look like Vans. Again, I featured them in my back to school lookbook, so if you want to check that out, I will have that link down below. But I have just been loving these shoes. They are so cute and so comfortable. All right, so that's it for my August favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.